yeah, yeah. It's yep. Tossy Funk TV, man. Today we got my TV, got free Pilani. Yes. What's up, bro? Yaka? Yeah, all is good, all is good, all is good, Baba. All What's going good. on? What's going on? Ah, well, yeah, we're still in lockdown, so hey. <laughs> <laughs> a lot is going down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Please, my brother, tell us a bit about yourself. Well, um, about myself. Yeah. Well, I, I'm a musician. Yeah. Um, Probably people would want to know what I specialize in. Yeah. Okay. Mainly, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a performer. I, I play piano. But over and above all those 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 things that I do, um, I'm also a composer. I'm also a producer. I'm also an arranger. Um, uh, another thing about me is that I'm also an uh, arts activist. Okay. Um, over and above, I'm also a music teacher. Okay. So, I have my paws all around the music and the entertainment yeah, yeah, yeah. industry. You are art personified. Yes, yes, man. I, 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 I want to believe that, you know, to be an all-rounder in the entertainment industry only stands to benefit you. Yeah. You know your craft and how you apply yourself. Yeah. So yeah. That's that's what I try to do. You no. Know? Um. Mm -hmm. I try to master every little bit that's there that the art in entertainment or entertainment industry has to offer. Okay. So that also includes you know arts education workshops. So I do quite a lot of workshops that that deals with music business and arts in general. It, because that's that's one area that we most of us do really neglect. So yeah, um, my interest in music really started when I was very young. Uh, I think it, it sounds like a cliche. We all say that yeah, you know, I started yeah, in church. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, I didn't start in church. <laughs> well, yeah, at school yeah. most probably. Mm. But I think um, my love for music or arts in general, you know, it's 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 something that I believe you you you, you get to be born with a certain talent in you yeah and my talent was really music yeah uh, specifically mm. uh, i might have done a lot of things like dance and drama and so on but my specialty would have been music um mm. it's true the cliche that you know once that in church i remember when i was very young my 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 aunt uh, in the zion church mm -hmm. used to go with me so i used to play uh, the drum, mm. you know, the African drum in the uh, our Zion Church. Yeah. So that's where the love of rhythm started. The love of music has always been there, but you know, the love of rhythm. Mm. That's why, coincidentally, my first instrument to play was drums. You know, so I was a drama first before I became a pianist. pianist. Yeah, it's a very interesting story. We'll get into it. Okay. So I grew with that, you mm. know, and fortunately through my parents as they were traveling you know the old south africa uh -huh. we ended up being my fee game because my dad was in the correctional service so okay. um he had to be transferred here because they started doing your prison stuff you know, okay. building, yeah prison facilities so we had to travel from the free state uh, orange free state uh, to be clearer mm -hmm. you know and then come to this side of my fee game. then it was called yeah. 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 yeah so and then you know and then fortunately there was an institution called Mavan. Mm -hmm. you know obviously one was was in primary we do it just for the love of it because so you know uh, one time with a friend of mine we just decided ah let's take a trip you know mm -hmm. let's go and see what this Mavana is all about and okay. then we got and then wow that institution mm -hmm. you know and we are tricked and we went every day we're not students yes yeah. It was in 86 when it opened. We're not students. And we went for almost two, three, four months until mm -hmm. we got hooked into the academic side of music, the formal st uh, uh, study of music. Yeah, and then yeah. we were lucky enough, we were uh, uh, taken over, you know, and said, hey, guys, you see, you're committed. Mm. Come, become students. That's when they actually school. recruited you. Yes, because now. Be because they the saw how, how, how interested how you guys interested, were in, yeah. in the music. And not only that, the talent. You know, sometimes to be interested is not just enough. Yeah. You also need yeah. to have the love and the talent. Ten yeah, naturally. You know, true. That, that in, in, later in life, it helps you to 
you know mm -hmm. yeah, so 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 that that's what we do we we, we, we applied ourselves to the program mm -hmm. and we moved to the ranks you know we got our qualifications as far as we can get mm -hmm. uh, some of us through the Trinity College in London we did mm -hmm. exams we did whatever and we moved through the ranks oh, yeah? either way in the meantime we what was nice about that experience was that you get to do the practical side and the theoretical side, yeah. which is you more we say the academic side. Yeah. So as yeah. you're playing with the bands, uh, 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 mm. uh, or doing gigs, you're still studying your music. So there was a there was a proper balance of the two. So you could actually apply and excel in both. Okay. You know. Mm. And the nice thing about uh, Mabana was that it also had other units. You know, your okay. drama. So you get to say maybe the drama has got a, a musical play. Okay. You go there. So you yeah. learn these other streams. Yeah. Yeah, there's an orchestra yeah. there, so you learn a bit of classical music. Mm. So that's how I got to into the classical all, side. All of round, all round. Yeah, yes, because yeah. I ended up even playing in the uh, OD Youth Orchestra in Mabupan. So okay. I played percussion there. I played percussion in the. They used to have back in the day in uh, a combined forces performances. Okay. So you have your police service, you have your army, mm -hmm. you had your prisons and so on. So okay. they do a combined uh, brass. A, 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 a band, so mm. to speak, mm. and Mabana was involved in in some way. So I was fortunate enough, okay. you know, that I was co-opted to come. Hey, come and play something. So also that helped, you know. Mm. And yeah, and I moved and I started playing professionally. Where where as I moved on, you know, you you get to now start learning how to compose your own music, music learning yeah. how to arrange, mm -hmm. you know. And that for me was also one part that I was really really interested in. I said, wow. Okay, mm -hmm. this is nice. So besides playing piano and getting into it or playing drums or playing saxophone mm -hmm. and so on, this is one thing that I could also try and do, you know, mm -hmm. and I started getting into arranging and composing, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and so on. And, mm -hmm. and you learn and you grow mm -hmm. and uh, you meet now because your level is going up yeah. from time to time. You meet superstars now, you mm -hmm. know, you meet your Buddhas, so you know, all this, 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 this super big, star, big guys that used to pass Maba yeah, and yeah. you get to now interact with them. You know, mm -hmm. I interacted with quite a lot of stalwarts. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember at our times, they were still younger. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it was easy for yeah. us to interact with them and, mm -hmm. you know, we delivered, you know, mm -hmm. so I got to play in, in, Quite a lot of bands, you know, Ray Piris, you know, okay. stuff with Bo, Osleta, Archivers, you know, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. in one way or the other, mm. you know, you, you get because they, they were in and out our area. And our what, space. what do they call that? Session musicians? Yes, you start doing or, sessions. Or, or is it freestyle? Free is it freelance or is session musicians? In our case, it was more of them coming in and doing clinics, what we call clinics or workshops. Oh, for okay. The common oh, and right. then they see, oh, right. okay. Because what used to happen in this institution that they would call a person say oh come and do a performance mm. so part of the deal would be come and meet the students oh, or okay. the uh, advanced students you know okay. and then in the evening they would say no we had a 10-20 uh, minutes program with the advanced students mm. so that's how we got to you know and mm. and that helped me a lot because i remember them. when Lin Sanga was also there doing his workshops and stuff but paul henma you know uh, I got to get really close with those to a point where one day I know I was I was joking with uh, uh, Braloon Shang and say you know uh, right now you're playing with the style watch was playing with Bracafas when he's a percussion player yeah. so you know one day you'll be I'll be playing with you yeah. Yeah, you know and then we left it <laughs> off you know it's like ah. Yeah. Lord behold, yeah. two, three years later, mm. I'm booking him in my bed. <laughs> yo, 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 <laughs> you know, so so that, yeah. that, 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 that kind of uh, upbringing, yeah. musically, and that connection and stuff like yeah. that. So that, that build my, 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 my musical career, how diverse I can be and mm. how informed yeah. I am musically, not just play, mm. but the people that, you know, I get to, to now. I used to admire. Now mm. I get to, you know, yeah. um, just a, a typical story. I was I was in Johannesburg some other time during the launch of. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. The launch of uh, one of the artists, the 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 Yeah. And 
I remember in my early years, uh, I used to go to Johannesburg, and mm-hmm. then that sheer music was still around. Mm-hmm. And there's a guy, Bariki, Joe Sherima, he came mm-hmm. to my feet game and saw me, and then he was so, so intrigued by how I would play. Yeah. And I started playing with him, mm-hmm. you know, and then he said, No, I'm going to take you to Joburg. We need to record something. Yeah. He didn't tell me what we're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. So I went to Johannesburg, mm-hmm. met him, go to Jim, come to Joburg, you know, share yeah. some big buildings. I said, But I'll survive. Mm-hmm. So, we, you know, weekend, skip school, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Go there, mm. lo and behold, we're waking, we're waking, we're waking. Yeah, and yeah. he said, No, but the music that you're doing, okay, one of the songs, one or two of the songs, it's my songs, mm-hmm. but some of the songs are for this person. Mm-hmm. And guess who it is? Mm-hmm. Lin Pei. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> and as we're sitting, no, Lena Kama comes in. Yo, you know, yo, 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 yo. These people that you see on TV. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like, right, okay. yeah. But that time, it was, yeah. it was a session. It was, Mm. It didn't really click. Yeah, you guys were jamming. Fast forward 2019. Mm. You know, um, 2019, we're at the launch, yeah, uh, Kagwalam in Joburg, uh, with, with Cheers. And here comes this guy. Mm. I'm telling you, all of the whole, we're in the same stable. You know? yo, yo. <laughs> he's with Penny Penny, he's with mm. Lena Kama, and mm. Pussy Kimisi, and mm. all these guys. I was like, wow, wow. I was so happy to see each other. <laughs> Look where we are now, you know, mm. you know, you know so, so it, it speaks to how that time, in yeah. those years, yeah. we, 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 we for, 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 forgot everything and started, like, apply ourselves 100% into the music, yeah. whether it's the theoretical side of music or the practical side of music, mm. interacting, listening and watching. What we did most of the time was to hear... Mm. And open here, yeah. and open here, and yeah. open here, yeah. and that today mm. is what I live with now. Because he, now this is what I, what what I, what, I what do you now. do on a daily basis. On a daily basis, yeah. you know, I, 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 yeah. I, the lessons and mm. and the the, the 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 everything that I've learned those years, mm. the past ten years of my mm. early, you know, early childhood mm-hmm. is the knowledge that I'm using now. Mm-hmm. You know, to a point. You're well, playing it practically I'm now. I'm playing it practically. I'm a music educator. Mm. I'm, I'm everything and anything that's in the industry. Mm-hmm. You know, so that 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 for me is 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 priceless. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I'm I'm happy with myself every day that I took that decision. That look, just don't be impatient with mm-hmm. yourself. And we, you naturally as a young person, you mm. don't know where this is going to end. Yeah. But you just yeah. find yourself into it. That's why earlier on we made a distinction between talent mm. and, 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 you know, hard work and all those <laughs> yeah. things, you know, that yeah. you put, yeah. you know, uh, I would say talent only is not enough. Mm. Hard work only is not enough. Mm. There's a whole lot of things that you have to put together in yeah. order for you to survive, so to speak, mm. or to be uh, 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 not really recognized, but to be able to survive and sustain to yourself, sustain yourself yeah. and, and, up and, and be taken serious and, yeah. and, 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 and make a living out of it yeah. you know, and in all aspects of it. So that, that's what it is. So, yeah, I, 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 I moved on mm-hmm. like that, you know, mm-hmm. moved on from Mabana to... Uh, doing what I, I want to do uh, in terms of saying, look, there are other opportunities that mm-hmm. are there because the saying would go, you know, our industry is not safe, it's mm-hmm. not sustainable and so yeah. on. But mm-hmm. I just told myself, because coincidentally, I did also uh, uh, management, mm. you know. Music management. No, no, management in in, 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 in a like true a, sense. Or artist, artist management. You know, no. You know, or business management. Thing, you know, business management. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. And, 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 and all those things. Mm. I also did forensic auditing. With, oh, okay, with, with, okay. With, 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 with uh, uh, TSA. All know, right. Uh, Technical of South Africa. Mm. Uh, Technical of South Africa, sorry. Mm. You know, so th- 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 those are the things that I did with the notion that sometimes you'll be told for hey, the music industry, but I didn't let those uh, 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 those streams uh, uh, overshadow mm. my music. Yeah, my music yeah. has always been look. This is what I want to do. Even when times are hard and you know mm. jobs are hard to uh, to come by and mm. so on, I just said, you know what, I'm sticking to this. This is what I do. So if I'm not on stage. I'm in a workshop room. If I'm not on a workshop room, I'm, I'm in somebody's house. I'm doing private lessons. Yeah, you know, yeah. If I'm not doing something 
piano, I'm doing something voice. If I'm not doing mm. that, I'm doing that. So yeah. there was always mm. something to do. Yeah. You know, which yeah. is the earlier lessons that I told you about. There was mm. always something to do. I yeah, wasn't true. like fixed on one thing and so on. Yeah. yeah. And obviously the other thing that I was really proud of in those early years, I also became very active mm. in the in the political side of the entertainment industry, oh, the yeah. arts and music and stuff. Okay. And very instrumental also in the early years on the white paper, you know, of arts yeah. and culture. Yeah. You know, were the first yeah. people mm. to sit down in Bolokota mm -hmm. and so on yeah. and discuss yeah. from especially from our side mm. in the northwest, you know, discuss have endless meetings, eh, months and things, you know, getting so that was also one part that uh, was very, very important for me to do, just mm -hmm. to be part of how to grow this industry, but also how to align this industry in terms of the constitution or, or, or any other any other way that we make sure that it's regulated and it's properly. Mm. To a point where, you know, it was important to do that because now when your lotos came on board, when your NACs and, 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 and other funding institutions, yeah. at least they found a blueprint yeah. that they yeah. are not just talking to individuals, but they are talking to a formalized industry in one mm. way or the other. Mm -hmm. So them developing mechanisms or policies that will help to fund artists, mm. they at least found some groundwork. Yeah, you know, so some it wasn't sort of just, structure. Yeah, yeah structure yeah. that we yeah. So also being part of different structures, you mm -hmm. know, uh, uh, um, uh, your Pansa, mm -hmm. Pansa Northwest, you know, and all those, 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 those structures that dealt with arts, artists and so on. Oh, uh, yeah. On. So that has always been my interest. I've, I've spent years, you know, being part of the structures and mm -hmm. uh, 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 developing, you know, and imparting knowledge and, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that at least what we see now, we who started all these movements, mm. there's, there's the, we gave people a base yeah. for them to start and grow. You know? So when we, when we pass the baton, at least we pass the very tangible uh, structures that artists now are using to to further develop other structures and so on to to so the political side of arts also was of huge interest to me yeah you know and yeah. and i in one way or the other when i find time i do contribute one way or the other to mm. those discussions you know yeah. and 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 those are necessary discussions mm -hmm. you know, because this industry is evolving. Yeah. You know, can't just sit one place and think or the policies that happened 15, 20 years, they still apply now. now. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, we know that we're part of the, the global family now. Mm -hmm. So we need to start. Uh, um, yeah, my wish is that, you know, this industry should really be formally formalized yeah. you know, and, and, and mm -hmm. have, have structures that they're here today and there the next 50 years. Yeah. Not the structure that's here today. That's that's my mm. really dream. But mm. signs are there. Signs mm. are there. People are aware. Artists are not starting to engage, especially mm. locally here in Mafike. Mm. You know, artists are not just funding mm. <laughs> people now. Yeah. They also are involved in actually trying to, you know, to... To change the landscape of music, basically. And especially engaging on the policies. Yeah. You know, engaging yeah. the department, engaging other structures that do... Mm. Uh, with with uh, uh, the arts, mm -hmm. uh, you know, engaging with universities, mm -hmm. you know, engaging with private sector, uh, yeah. you know, engaging mm -hmm. with media. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, yeah, you know, my music really journey has, has, has taken that kind of a shape, mm -hmm. you know, from where I started as a little one up to where I am now. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it makes me also happy to see that I'm still a point of reference yeah. to a lot of people, mm -hmm. a lot of structures, mm -hmm. uh, government, you know, because sometimes government does engagement to say, look, come and teach music business here. Yeah. We have, you know, people, uh, students or artists like this come and do judging, okay. you know, in our competitions, come yeah. and do this. Mm. So I, 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 I'm glad that I'm still relevant, mm -hmm. you know. Um, um, I've moved a little bit from that part of my music career because now I'm concentrating more on a product or a stream that I 
have talked about between uh, the composing and arranging, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, which is something we'll probably talk about it later as we talk about my engagement with TS and so on. So that is that is that is something that I'm hundred percent now in. Remember, um, um, let's 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 wrap the session up. Yes. Nah. Okay. Let's wrap it up in in this way. We'll record mm -hmm. another one. We're just wrapping up this one because we're already at 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 All right, you heard it, everybody. This is my TV, Godfrey Pilani. Yeah, yeah. This is the first edition, yo, because we here, man. There's a lot to talk about. So yes. 20 minutes, we can't, we can't, um, you know, have everything in 20 minutes. Yes. So we're just gonna wrap up this first session. We'll have another session coming up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, yo, Tosi Fung TV. We're out. <laughs>